Hey everybody, nice to see you again. I'll tell you what, if this is your first time watching, congratulations, welcome to the channel. I hope you like what you see. All the other people who've been around, been a little bit of a lack of content lately. And you know, it's not for a lack of trying. It's just been 90, 93 degree days every single day. We fished a couple of tournaments. We got some footage, but it really came out of wash. Didn't really like the content that we got in those videos. But it's been a while since we've been to Honkers Pond. And in the car, I got two bass poles and one bluegill pole. And we're just gonna mess around, see if we can't catch a couple of fish. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, maybe you leave me a comment down below saying so. And get subscribed if you wanna see more like it. I'm not gonna waste any time. We only got a limited amount of daylight. Let's go fishing. We got our St. Croix Mojo Bass Rod, medium heavy fast, seven foot one, with a Daiwa Tatula 100 HS, and uh, 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 there it is, 15 pound fluorocarbon. We've got our St. Croix Triumph Light Action Rod, six foot six, a Daiwa Tatula 1000 size, and last but not least, We've got an Abu Garcia Venerat with a Daiwa Fuego and 10 pound braid. This is a medium six foot six, six foot nine. And that's it. That's all we got today. Right now I've got two backer on shuffle. I'm just playing. If you guys want to check him out, he's on Spotify, YouTube, Instagram. He makes a lot of great music for content creators. I would definitely go check him out if you're a content creator. I got an inline spinner and that's not going to work very well for very long, but I have other stuff in the box. Oh, that didn't take long. First cast, really? A little baby bass? Yes, it is. All right, <laughs> that was fun. Cool. Look at this little cute guy. Nice, all right, buddy. I'll see, you. oh, okay, he's good. Whew, I was worried there for a sec. As soon as it hit the water, man. Okay. And then you called. So okay. hey, well, listen, I hope I didn't break it. No, not at all, not at all. Actually, uh the, this call isn't gonna make it into the video, but I'm definitely about to ask everybody to start praying for it. Okay, buddy. That's going in the video. That that mean a lot, you know, that's the greatest weapon we have. It absolutely is. Well buddy, listen, I just wanted to let you know that I'll let you get back to fishing and uh, anything else I'll let you know. Uh, if you don't hear from me, I'll see you on Sunday. I'll see you Sunday, brother. Right, see you, buddy. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay guys, well, the video is still going to be a carefree fishing video, but we got something I'd like to address. Uh, I'm a Christian man. If this is your first video, this is a Christian channel. If that's not for you, I understand. I don't push my faith down anybody's people. I just try to be the best example I can be to show what a Christian walk is like. And let, I'll tell you, I'm not perfect, especially off camera, but this isn't a message. Um, Anybody watching who is a Christian, this is a call for prayer. If, if this wasn't for you, I'll put a mark right here in the video where you can skip to. Uh, I have a young man and his mother in our church. I'm gonna leave their names out of it, but they were driving a truck this young man had just bought and the rear end literally just gave out, just fell off the truck. They went in a ditch. The young man was okay. Uh, he has some seatbelt rash. His side of the vehicle, they flipped several times, was fine, but uh, her side was not. They had to fly her to Indiana. Uh, they had to fly her to Indiana and she went under, underwent two surgeries, one for her arm and another for her neck. And right now the prognosis is grim. Uh, if, if she doesn't make a drastic recovery in three days, she may be a quadriplegic. So if you guys are fellow believers in Christ and you believe in the power of prayer like I do, this is a call to all of my Christian friends and family, the Tim Hunt Fishing family, to pray for this this woman um, and her son, because I know he's got to be going through it, and, and her husband, because I know he's suffering. And if you don't mind, please throw me and our church family in there. We're a really small church, and we're family, and it, it hurts to see somebody's life change so drastically so fast. You never expect it. Um, yeah, you know, if, if you are fellow believers in Christ, uh, just don't forget he's our he's he's our hope he's the answer and you never know how many more days you have before he calls you home if you're not a believer in christ i hope this plants some sort of seed in you guys because 
I wasn't for the longest time. I was raised Lutheran and then fell away from the faith for the better part of my life and finally came home and there's, there's just no denying him. But and we're, that's enough talking for right this second. Uh, I wanna fish, let's get back to it. I appreciate you guys listening to the call for prayer. Let's get back to fishing. These, these mats, they're like, they're like Rice Krispie Streets, guys. They're just full of life. I don't really hear them popping over here though. That's the thing, it's mostly over there and I'm not sure if I can cast that far. All right, so the trout magnet, I'm gonna give it one more cast, see if I can't just drop it in front of a little bass or a bluegill. Oh, and we're on. Come here, bud. <laughs> what are you? You look like a hybrid of some kind, but you're just so weird. You got this little concave belly. Hmm. <laughs> nice. All right, bud, going home. So we got this little watermelon red flake, two inch curly tail, tied, tied onto a 16th ounce, uh, one knot, I think, colorless jig head. And this should be able to fly a little further. It might even put us in like, you know, this might look like a tasty morsel to a bass or something. We never know. Nope, it flew the exact same distance. <laughs> There we go. I think that's a bass, guys. Not sure if we're gonna be able to get him in though because of all the grass. Come on, come on. Oh, we got him moving. We got him moving. <laughs> we got him moving. Come here, buddy. <laughs> nice! <laughs> well, hey, little guy. You like the way that looked, huh? Well, thank you for, for biting. I appreciate you. Nice. There we go. <laughs> no, don't get in there. Stay up, stay up. There we go. Ta-da! Another little fish. Seems a little empty. You're gonna tell me this little guy can't find enough to eat in this big old pond with all these bugs and little fish? Crazy. Have a good one, man. Get something to eat. You know what, despite all this mucky grass, I still think it's really pretty out here. Every day you get to spend on God's creation is a good day. I'm wrong. Come on. Oh, that one might have a little more size to him. I can't tell if it's that or the grass. Come on. Come on. All right. Nice fish. Look at that. I mean, he's not huge, but he's a healthy fish. Get that grass out of your mouth for you, though, bud. I'm sorry. Look at that guy. All right, bud. We'll get back in the water. Have a good one. Okay. Well, that's fun, but obviously the bass are biting. So I'm going to throw a Senko on my casting rod and see if we can't hook into something good. 
I want to give the lizard a try. I wonder if the lizard might get bit. See, I see fish out there, like right over there. I don't know if that was on camera or not, but just saw a bass bust over there. So they're sizable bass in here. You just got to get them to eat. Oh, wow. Good cast, Tim. Hmm. There we go. Not the fish we were looking for, but we got him. Wow, dude. Really? <laughs> okay. We got the gills flared and everything. That went through his mouth and out his mouth. And then back into his mouth. He wasn't coming off. Okay. <laughs> Very dark bass. Little guy. All right, bud. Nice, we caught another fish. I wasn't sure if we were gonna catch another fish or not. Oh, that might be a little bone decent. Oh, that is a little decent. Come here. No, 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 no. Stay out of there. He's got a ton of grass with him. Wow, there we go. It's a one and a half pounder. <laughs> now here's what you need to know look at his eyes his eyes are big his head is huge like look at that this is an old fish but his body just is stunted that tells me they're a little bit overcrowded in here nice still though he's fun to catch relax bud I'm not gonna hurt you go ahead Alrighty, cool. Now that was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that quite a bit. We've caught some fish. Let's try the popper. Because how cool would it be if we did catch fish on a popper, you know? Striking popper, let's go. We're going to have to be really careful casting this thing. One, because I only have 10 pound braid on. And two, because there's just so much muck. Now this is that very same, if you've been around the channel for a little bit, uh, this is that very same popper that I hooked my finger on. So I'm going to be careful. Yes! We got one on the popper! <laughs> Oh no, did we lose him? No, he's there. <laughs> Come on, bub. Get in the boat! <laughs> oh, you're a big guy too! Yeah, I'm gonna line this guy in. Huh. Wow. You're a healthy fish. <laughs> nice. That was unexpected. He's probably two and three quarter, maybe three. I doubt he's three. But we're not gonna weigh him. We're gonna get him back in the water. Whew. He definitely doesn't beat my PB, so I'm not too worried about it. Wow, okay. <laughs> Striking popper does it again. All right, bud. There we go. Whew. I am so glad I turned around for that popper. 
He just walloped it. Whoo! Yeah. Praise God. Well, there you have it, guys. That was a lot of fun. We caught a lot of fish, uh, including a two and a half, two and a quarter pound bass. I'll tell you what, let me know down in the comments below what you thought that weighed. It's actually kind of funny. I spent three weekends out on the water during our little, you know, friendly tournament series. That's the biggest fish I've caught in three weeks. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, but I really enjoyed this. It was a good time, you know, a heavy heart, but getting out here enjoying God's creation really helps. If this was your first video, I really hope you liked it. If you did, go down, smash like, leave me a comment, let me know you'd like to see more stuff like this and maybe get subscribed. All the OGs, thanks for checking in on me. I appreciate it. Um, we didn't have anyone claim the prize from the last giveaway, which is kind of a bummer. So we'll be announcing that in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. But remember, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. God bless you, keep fishing, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night, guys.